put the rest of the soup in the freezer so you'll have some for later. Thanks for everything. Yeah. Let me go. I got it. Okay. You gonna tell mom? So she can show up here to take care of you by harassing the housekeeper and criticizing your bathrobe? Yeah. I think I'm gonna wait a few years. Mm. Oh, and I moved your sleeping pills back in the medicine cabinet because I just worry. Rachel always calls them candy. So. You took Vicodin. When you came to my hospital room that night, you were stoned. How did you know? How did I not know? How did I make myself forget for months that you're an addict? My subconscious was trying to tell me you could never get through this without drugs. It was a one-time thing. It's not about the pills, House. It's about what they mean. I was scared because I thought my girlfriend might die. No. You don't take Vicodin because you're scared. You take it so you won't feel pain. Everything you've ever done is to avoid pain. Drugs, sarcasm, keeping everybody at arm's length so no one can hurt you. As opposed to everyone else in the world goes looking for pain like it's buried treasure. Pain happens when you care. You, you can't love someone without making yourself open to their problems, their fears. And you're not willing to do that. I, I can't. I came to be with you. But you weren't with me, not really. I wanted to be. That's not enough. I could do better. I don't think you can. You'll choose yourself over everybody else over and over again because that's just who you are. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Don't, don't. I thought I could do this. Don't, please don't. Goodbye, house. 